Yeah, no, no, no problem, no problem. Hey,
Pastor, say something. I will. Yes, testing. Uh,尊敬的各位朝礼,呃,各位政界朋友,大家下午好。今天在这里举办这个新闻化布会,是我们美国亚裔社团联合总会,就8月23号发生的这个, 重大的这个群杀案件，我们今天在这里举办一个中外的媒体记者的新闻发布会。呃，首先有请大家起立，呀， please stand up， please。呃， 请大家默哀一分钟，为死难的同胞，呃，默哀一分钟。开始。大家敬重,OK,Stampis,Everybody。呃,先自我介绍一下,我是美国亚裔社团联合总会的秘书长,朱立业,呃,非常感谢大家在百忙之中,呃,抽空来到我们今天的发布会现场。呃,就最近,
John Chen has been talking to the family, and it's very sad in this moment. And he uh, give the information to the public, the information he have got, and the kids still in critical condition. He have been talking to the uh, the victim's husband and the try to get to help everyone. And then the kids still in critical condition. Hope everyone can pray for them. 呃，在电话上的聊，我现在就是医生叫他不要离开，问你就说，女儿不可能很危险，也有可能现在状况不好。啊，男生呢 ？The little girl um is in critical condition. The doctor asked the father, the victim's husband, don't leave because we never know what's going to happen. 因为男生呢，就那孩子相对啊，目前比女孩子稳定一点，啊，还需要观察。所以说，我刚才通知大家，是他今天，他老本来我们是定明天的记者会。他爸爸打电话给我说，希望在今天今天早上七点多打电话，我们聊在一起。最后，刚才打电话来，他实在也过不了，给大家说一声，很抱歉。嗯、um, ，the little girl is in critical condition. Um, and the boy relative is sleeping a little better, but we still don't know what will happen in this moment. And he was talking to victim's um, husband this morning, seven o'clock, four hours. And then he's supposed to come to the press conference today, but because of his condition, he cannot come. He uh, to everyone. In my side, this is his wife. She was just coming from the hospital. And there is another family member in the back. Because... 他们表示说：“啊，不如我们的今天通知媒体，就感谢大家对他的关心。”This lady is um victim's sister-in-law. Um, she appreciates all the media and all the community supports their family. Thank you. 啊，到目前为止，我们大概有。三件事情要做。首先，前天他们来求助，啊、呃，在我们昨天的啊、呃，在办理的事情之中，就说因为一男一女现在医院，他老爸呢现在几天没有睡觉，伤心过度。他一对老妈，他他就说，爷爷、呃、奶奶给我们现在是帮他们。奶奶申请来这边来接替他的一个孙子孙女，希望就是在这方面啊，向、呃、啊、呃、我们上帝呃啊啊啊祈祷，能够让这个两位小 baby 度过这个危机啊！我今天跟他老爸说，不管任何代价，小孩子。能够生存，哪怕他有什么后遗症，我们社区都会尽力帮他，为他两个小孩子将来的事情做努力。Hopefully, to get the grandma who's in China to come here to take care of his two kids, because the father didn't sleep for days since the incident happened. He mentally and physically was destroyed, and then he needs his mother to come here to support him, also support two kids, and then for our community. No matter what happened to these kids, we, the first thing we pray for these two kids, hope they're going to go through this hard time. And if anything needs help in the future, we'll do 
everything possible to help them. 现在目前呢，我们这两三天呢，呃，对他家里的呢，去一个进展，就是说，因为目前大陆那边啊，他那个奶奶被误教，要证明误教现在是相当困难。我们昨天在医院里面十一点过后，应该我也可以那个呃，做住美国的电话，半夜给他通知，发个信息。今天又打电话，就说一。主领馆的名义下不见，公安局、公安厅特殊的情况，应该是下个星期呼叫不出来。希望在下个星期能够安排，我们一夜打到广东，让他们就在下个星期能够安排签证。希望这边有关部门，或者移民局，或者领事馆，跟一个领导的一个通道，让他奶奶，他奶奶今年应该是六十六岁了。啊，我也听他的声音，昨天在医院里面，啊，我说，啊，我们奶奶要坚强，啊，事情发生了，不管怎么样，两个孙子女一定要把他带给他。嗯，重庆还是。And then we hope U.S. Um, immigration department help her to get the special visa, come here sooner to support the father and the two kids. Now we are able to do it in our services. We just ask everyone to do it. These two young children, we hope and hope they can be able to 度过这危机，呃，需要我们社区热心人士、商家，呃，给他的支持跟捐款，因为啊、呃，这不幸的事情啊、呃，在我们亚洲方面好像日常见到，但是这个 case 啊、呃，好像几年几年就一次。我我我我作为一个啊，侨、呃、界的啊啊，看到真的啊、呃，我只是一个忠告大家。从大陆来到美国，或者到哪个国家来的不易，希望大家懂不住，要一个包容的心态，要一个和谐。有什么事情，大家坐下来，慢慢谈，千万千万千万不要一个情绪化，因为只差两三天时间。这时刻能够度过就没有事情，不是光光是我们这样一个华人，也有其他族，也同样的希望大家在共处包容心态是最好的。再次，我在这里呼吁大家能够为我们的两位小 baby 多做点善事。也呼吁每位部门的长官，因为我也跟认识的我们议员，还有我们呃，每天都还有我们候选人啊，候选人都讲过，他们都来过，就是说，在目前能够需要的是你们伸出一个啊啊帮忙，让政府表态，因为现在在这的确的确。是一个，我们也不说是正义什么，但是新移民在这里，这个是非常非常的艰难。一个家庭，三家人住在一起，只有几百次，难免都有摩擦。所以说，在这方面要包容和谐，相处在一起。能够健康的发展，再次祈祷我们两位小 baby 度过最艰难、最艰难的一个啊啊啊啊啊危机，希望他健康。谢谢。嗯、um, ，I'm not going to go into detail. John Chambers said, "We hope the community, everyone can come out to donate to the 
to the victims' families, especially for the need for the um, two kids. If you can donate, please do. And also, um, he asked all the government official, different departments, please come out to help this family. This family is really need everyone supporting this moment. And the third thing he said, um, the housing condition in this area is not that great. A lot of times, three family live in three room, separate three room in one household, one apartment. It could have happened, talk to each other. But as the people in the community, as your neighbor, please be nice to each other. These things happen, should not be happened. And then by the end, he wants everyone to keep, to pray. keep pray for these two little kids because the mother already passed away. Please keep praying for our two young kids. Hopefully, they will go through this. And then as a the community, we will definitely support them. And please ask the, all the government departments, different departments, please come out to help them, support them. This is what we need in the community, and what is what we need in this family. I will tell you one more thing to let you know. Now, in the current moment, we are the people. 是没有体会到我们真正在这里生存的一个事实。美国是一个移民国家，现在目前状况，对真正的在这里生存的一个事实，没有一个保障。现在他们开放都是，我们不是不支持他们啊、呃，其他的啊、呃、新移民的，现在变成。接收的人一天晚上不五心机，真正在这里打工发展的人，一个家庭住了十个人。你现在看一下，所以说我在社区上面服务三十年，感觉到应该这里好好检讨，把政府的这个资源借一个平价的一个环境，让在这里的。心里边一个他自己的地方，不就减免这个呃冲突，减轻这个啊、呃、事情发生。我再次感谢大家，啊、呃，我发展到这里。And the uh, John just mentioned the migrants come to this country. He is an immigrant. He understands the immigration process, and he understands also supports U.S. is an immigrant country. We support that, but a lot of time the migrants come to the city, see he lost attention to the people live here. There are three family live in one apartment, and you have the migrants live in Roseville Hotel. We need to get the resources to our community to help people here. We still need resources here to help those families here. We welcome migrants come to this country, but governments should also pay attention to the people living in this community. Thank you. Uh,我哋呢幾日做咗誒黃友嘅天光，我哋我哋內咧好感謝蘇成董事長，我哋我哋啊Lester，依家我哋有請我哋啊啊啊啊啊啊Lester啊，佢哋經過同我哋呢
thank you for coming over here. Even my script needs to be uh, revised. Uh, my name is Lester Chang, descendant of South Brooklyn, and I represent part of Sunset Park with uh, this victim uh, resides. I also want to thank John Chang, president of Grace, uh, who is instrumental in helping this family, the Blues family. Uh, and to my left or to your right is the uh, sister, sister-in-law of the, uh, the victim's father, uh, the victim's fathers. This is a very tragic story and a very tragic loss of this immigrant family. They're from Fujian province in China and also they had a very violent crime, roommate to roommate. The outcome, their mother, Zhao and two young children fighting for their lives. Actually fighting for their lives. That's why the father's not here. The doctors tell the father to remain. He's that close. Whether or not he needs his presence. It's important to know that the need to serve is his children. And next point is the living arrangement. As Mr. Chang says about living arrangement. It is difficult, difficult to get an affordable two to three bedroom apartment affordable. Obviously, the family cannot go back to their home. The attacker's family and the victim's family live in too close to a quarter. Obviously, it doesn't make sense to live once this ordeal is over. Cannot. So, my office is trying at best, we're trying at best to try to find quarters for them. And of course, it's uh, Mr. Lou for the next months or years while well, unable to work to care for his children. So we need the public support for his family. And of course, we will try to work very closely with the victim's father's mother to come here for um, emergency visa. We will do what we can. And I can point out another important issue it's called mental health. Okay, it's not in our culture to ask for mental health. Not at all. And I personally want to make sure that I use my example. I'm a 24-year veteran, U.S. Navy. I served in Afghanistan. And I've had an Afghanistan war veteran. I have PTSD. I ask for help. I've been treated for three years in the VA hospital. I'm not embarrassed to ask for help. I'm not ashamed of asking for mental health. And I hope you, as audience and media, please broadcast this no shame, especially in my culture, to ask for mental health when they need it. Help us there, they help me continue my life, and continue serving my country and my, my fellow New Yorkers. And one thing I'd like to also point out in the press is not to ask the family here about what happened, the crime, what happened, the outcome. Because I let the police do their job. I don't want to color the justice. I don't want to color the perpetrator's right. He has rights. So I just want to make sure that so the two things we're going to be here is the family and mental health. And, uh, and prayers for, for the kids. They really need our thoughts and prayers for them. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, um, I'm here to talk about the people of the family of the family. This is the family of 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 非常伤心，他也是第一件，第一时间就说去跟那个呃受害人的那个家属联系的。那他今天呢，就是说他啊、呃、到这里来，当然呃，最要感谢的就是说那个呃陈队长，就是安排这一次这个新闻发布会。那啊，郑永江啊啊，郑永江议员他就说提到，现在目前最主要的就是要为那个受害受害人的那个家属啊、呃、提供一个啊、呃、找一个做啊。可以住的地方，因为现在呢，就是说，啊、呃，受害人跟那个啊嫌疑犯住的是同一个地方，那
，肯定是不可能就说让他们就说啊、呃、回去啊、呃、原先住的那个地方住。所以，可是呢，现在目前来讲，在啊，巴达拉附近，就说要找一个两个房间或三个房间的话，是非常非常困难的一件事情。那啊、呃，政府在医院的办公室呢，会尽量去提供啊、呃、那个这个帮助，去帮那个受害受害者的那个啊、呃、家庭，就说找一个新的啊住的地方。然后第二件事情呢，就是说现在目前啊、呃，受害者的丈夫有些是他现在遇到这个情况，那他为了要照顾两个受伤的小小孩，那肯定啊。呃在一个很长的时间，他是不能够去啊工作，所以呢，他也是希望就是说啊，透过他的办公室可以去为那个受害者的家属，就是说啊，得到一个啊经济上面的呃援助。然后他另外还提到，就是说最重要的一点呢，就是说啊，作为一个啊我们华人啊那个传统来讲，就是说要接受心理心理上面的一个治疗。就有可能是跟我们就是说那个文化上面是有一点点冲突，可是呢，他他要是强调我一点，因为这个在一个人他本身是一个二十四年一个啊、呃、服役过二十四年的一个军人，他也曾经在阿富汗啊参与过战争，那他啊、呃、在阿富汗回来了之后呢，就是说也曾经啊、呃、有过那个所谓的战后的那个忧郁症，那他自己主动的去寻求那个啊心理辅啊辅导。那总共接受了三年的治疗，所以呢，就是说他呼吁大家，就是说我作为华人的话，我们不要去觉得好像是一件非常啊啊、呃呃、羞就羞耻的一件事情去接受那个心理辅导，对吧？如果遇到什么困难，遇到了什么什么啊、呃、需要人家来啊啊、呃呃、帮助的话，一定要提出来。然后呢，他最后呢，就是说也提到，就是说呼吁大家啊、呃，尤其是媒体。啊，还有啊，很多社区上面的人，就说啊，尽量尽量，就是说啊，不要去散布一些那个啊，不属实的消息，没有经呃，没有经过证实的消息，因为这样子呢，就是说，首先一个是对那个受害人家属不公平，另外还有呢，也会对那个整件案子的审判啊，会啊产生一种一种困难。那、啊、谢谢大家。呃，现在呃，因为扣的，一路上都是帮我们保护。让他，他他知道，跟那个父母都在一起啊，这件事情的监控。现在我我也啊，请能够能为我们的这个法律战士一个帮助，怎么样去做方式来做？呃，就这次 ，Assembly Man William Colton has been helping Chinese community for years. When this incident happened, he seeks the help from Assembly Man William Colton. 
for the two children who were gravely injured, to pray for the father, to pray for the nine-year-old child who was in the room witnessing this terrible act of inhumanity. That we must all commit ourselves to do. And secondly, we owe a debt of gratitude to John Chan and his organization. This is not the first time he has rose up to help people in need. This is something that he and Grace have been doing year after year. And it has helped so many people in dire trouble. And the third thing is, it's not enough just to give prayers or condolences or nice words. We must act. We must come together in unity. And we must act to bring about concrete help to this family that has lost so much. We must act as government officials, and certainly any way my office can help expedite the grandmother and bring her here to help her two grandchildren, her son, the family and friends. We commit to do that all that we can. And we call upon all elected officials to step up and help this family. Also, we must recognize that there are conditions that help bring about this terrible tragedy. There is a housing shortage in New York City. And we must recognize it and take actions to improve it. We must recognize that housing is not affordable for all too many families. We must recognize that three families living in a small cramped apartment with children brings about tensions and tightness of space and conditions that can very easily turn into a terrible tragedy. We must recognize that government officials must deal with this housing crisis. It's not enough just to talk about it. We have to take concrete actions to create affordable housing throughout New York City. And that may take money, it may take Members of the government working together, even if they're not on the same party, there's an obligation to work together. And I certainly commit to do that. And I commend my colleague here for being here. And I'm sure he will commit to working together with all parties, with all government officials, because the need is great, and we cannot ignore it. This is a wake-up call for everyone to unite in humanity on behalf of all people so that these incidents will not keep occurring. Also, we have been, the issue has been raised in terms of migrants. Now, clearly, New York has always been a city of immigrants. And many people have come from many different parts of the world. In my district in particular, over the years, many people have come from many different places. And we understand and welcome families that want to improve their lives. But there must be a process, an orderly process in accomplishing that. And this is basically a federal issue. 
The federal government must make sure that there is an orderly process. They cannot sit by and ignore the fact that 100,000 people within a matter of months have simply been brought to New York City and expect that New York City is going to be able to deal with that amidst the housing crisis that they have already. Admit the many problems that the city is facing. So, all levels of government must recognize that they have a role to play in making sure that resources, limited resources that the city has, cannot be used with 100,000 new people that are brought in suddenly, unplanned, Without proper processing, we cannot continue that. We cannot ignore that, and the federal government must act to make sure that cities like New York receive the help and the assistance that our people demand and need. We have a lot of work to do here, a lot of things to do here. Right now, we must co focus attention on helping this family that has suffered so much in the last week, too much to bear. But we must go beyond that. We must come up with policies. And when you have parties that attack each other and don't agree on anything, that is not rising to the challenge of leadership to require that is required to solve complex problems. So let's all commit ourselves. Number one, let us pray for the victim, this family, concretely. Number two, let us make sure we take concrete actions to help this family. And number three, let us resolve to work together in government, across party lines, to make sure that the circumstances do not continue to exist whereby there is a lack of housing, where there is a lack of mental health services. And my colleague has raised this and it is very true. We need to have more mental health services. We need to reach out to the community and make sure they are not ashamed if a family member needs mental health treatment that they are not afraid to get help. And we must work together across party lines to make sure that when they seek help, that there are resources available to make sure that happens. We don't want to have this continue to happen again and again and again. It's too much of a burden for any family to have to bear. We must work together across party lines, and we must make sure that we provide housing, health care, mental health services, and all the other critical human services that are needed for our families to prosper, for our families to be truly part of the American dream. Because that's what we all want. And when you see an incident like this, it is all too clear that we are all sharing the same concerns, the same problems. We all have problems. We don't want it to rise to the level that this family has had to bear. So let's pray for them. Let's resolve to start working together on first party lines and make sure that the services and the resources are provided so that we do not have to come to more meetings like this to pray for and to console more families because of the tragic losses that they have suffered. Thank you. God bless this family. God bless America. Thank you.
他会尽他的所能帮助我们这个家庭。这个爸爸在外州打工，这个家庭都是很不容易的。嗯，在外州听到孩子跟太太遇害，这种心情跑到纽约，真的是，我觉得不是一般人。能承受的心情。同时呢，我们周庄园很感谢，嗯、呃，陈尚庄主席这么多年在我们这个社区一直为我们各种各样的事情发声。同时，作为政府，我们希望尽我们的所能来帮助这个家庭。我们会联系各政府的各个部门、议员、各个等级的议员，帮助奶奶。通过特殊的这个 visa 签证，尽快来到美国。同时呢，这件事上我们还看到了很多的问题，比如说我们这个区的住房问题，很多家庭没有足够的钱去支付得起独立的房子，在我们这个社区里面。嗯，而且这个我们周周员工呢也提到。这个 migrant issue 的话，就是呃非法移民的问题。我我们纽约这么多年都是以为都是都是一个移民城市，大家都有这个义务和权，有都希望大家来帮助这些移民。但是我们联邦政府应该给我们。当地政府更多的资助，不能把所有的压力都放在我们地方政府。我们会通过各种各样的方式来帮助我们的一呃这个家庭，同时呢，他会尽他所能帮助这个家庭祈祷，为这个家庭祈祷。还强调了一点，就是说，不管你是哪个党派。不管你来自于哪里，我们一定要大家联合起来，一起把这件事情解决。他讲了三很多的事情：一，我们首先要为这个家庭祈祷；第二，我们要帮助这个家庭；第三，我们要帮助解决这个家庭的问题；第四，对于我们这个社区来说，心理健康是非常重要的。我们不要因为觉得心理健康。有问题，而不好意思说，大家要勇敢的说出来。啊，同时呢，我们会尽我们所有的能力来帮助我们的家庭。啊，现在因为啊，我们这几天呢、啊，几位啊，议员还有那个出生在北满这件事情，啊，从第一天。现象开始，我们正在、呃、做这个，因为苏晨呢，本身呃也是呃，这个社区上面啊，也会服务的很多。现在就说他从第一天开始，他的感受，让他知道以后签这个，他们为我们社区要做什么，以及让他来表述一下。你讲一点，你可以讲一点。Okay, my name is Susan Zhuang. I'm a staff member at William Cotton's Chimbo staff. Um, this is an incident happening in our community. I'm a mother of two young children. When I see, I don't know who posted the video online about two kids. I feel my heart just dropped. I have two young kids. I have a little one, also five years old. And then the night I see the news, I went home to hug my two kids. As a mother, I just want my family safe. I just cannot imagine a mother, a parent, see their child get hurt that badly. No matter what excuse you have, you cannot do that to the young kids. I don't know what argument happened there. That's not acceptable to me. We live in a family. When we go to home, we want to feel safe. And 
the, the tragedy happened in the community. I just feel safety is very important to all the family here. We need the support of police officers. Make sure those criminals out of the street, they should not come to the street. They should not be released to the community. We need to protect our community. We need to protect the good people here. And also, on this issue, I see the housing issue. When I knock on the doors, I see the 12 people living in two-bedroom apartment. We are not asked too much. We just ask for our government to help us to get the livable condition. People living in this community, they don't have good living condition. A lot of times, three family crank in a small apartment. It's not acceptable. We need to build more affordable housing here. And also, I do see our government provide good resources for migrants. And I forgot about the people in our community here. We definitely need to get the resources in the community here. We need to help the family. I will do whatever we can to help this family. I know um, the family doesn't speak English well. I will personally be their translator to help them whatever way we can. And also I will help them to apply housing. Hopefully we can expedite, expedite everything we can to help them. And this is the issue we see in the community. And I have been praying from for this family from the, the, the moment I hear this news. When I still checking when I or thinking about that two kids when I see on the video. That's not acceptable. I am I'm calling for district attorney give the family justice. The family deserve justice here. And I will also urge our community, everyone here Try your best to help the family, and I personally will also donate to the family. Um, hopefully, we'll go through this faster. And I just pray for these two young kids. Please, please, get through this. We as a community will support whatever way we can, no matter what happened to the family, and we'll help them. Try our best to help them. Thank you. 好的，呃，非常感谢，呃，我们台上的几位的发言，呃，今天的记者会，呃，接近尾声，呃，看看我们那个媒体朋友还有任何问题，呃，针对今天的这个发布会。Any question? Yes. Okay. Hi, New York Post. Can you please go over the condition of the children? Like you said that they are, um, that the, the little girl, the father has to stay by the little girl's side. Hi, Christina Narashan from the New York Post. Um, can you please go over and you know, give more details on the condition of the children? Um, the prosecutor at the, um, the arraignment last night said that they're likely to die, but now we're hearing that, you know, I, I, I've heard that they're stable, they're better, but now you're saying they're critical and it's not, you know, the father has to stay by their side. Um, can we just get, like, more details on what's going on with the children? Uh, you see, 啊，因为医生啊，在大概在一点的时候，就跟他就爸爸讲，现在目前就说小孩子的情况出现变化，啊，现在啊比较啊，就是你跟他是这边，小的那个四岁那个啊。本来他老爸要过来的，后来
，医生跟他讲不能离开，因为要才身边，所以说到现在为止是还没有过那个危险期，一直在观察。嗯他问他父亲：“这个孩子在什么样的状况？”他说：“他在什么样的状况？”他说：“他在什么样的状况？”他说：“他在什么样的状况？”他说：“他在什么样的状况？”他说：“他在什么样的状况？”他说：“他在什么样的状况？”他说：“他在什么样的状况？”他说：“他在什么样的状况？”他说：“他在什么样的状况？”他说：“他在什么样小孩子有些手还有点，就反正动，眼睛还有支持啊，支持他支持会啊，喊叫他，就这样子。现在目前就说这两个小时后，我们现在因为我们今今天记者会做完以后，我等一下还会去医院探望他啊，有更新的一个啊啊消息，我会让大家。啊，找啊，提供一个一一个说说法，希望我们再次再为他祈祷，上天保佑他。Is is the boy critical or stable? Thank you. 
，两个字都很可爱的小孩。这是三十块钱，你看伤心吗？没有，这让你弟弟吗？你弟弟现在是一个什么情况？我弟弟结婚三年，在现在在医院照顾小孩。他现在。She lost her words. She doesn't know what to say. Everyone is super sad. Her brother is in the hospital taking two kids. She is now a very lovely woman. She is very lovely. 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 这个男孩子行了嘛？就是很痛，头上的伤很重很重，就是很痛。他现在没有麻药嘛，就是很痛，就是一个晚上一直哭一直闹嘛，一直动嘛。然后我们都要在旁边照顾他。就你的弟弟这段这几天一直都在医院吗？对对，我们这几天三个人在轮流看。这个全是男孩子是昨天昨天醒的。他就是眼睛还没睁开，就是一直哭。对，昨天是，女孩子就是一直昏迷嘛。Does she have a, do you have a message for the um Mr. Yi, you know the the perpetrator of this crime?
我哋話男性誒重視配偶，嗱，四點，嗱，初初，啊，最緊要係親情，啊，現在很弱，啊，就是今天很弱，啊，不來一個。感觉到是不可不稳了。本来我们是在我跟那次打，本来昨天你就定下，明天是不是？定下定下没？本来是明天七七点五，他今天早上六点多打，七点多打电话来说不想。啊、呃，我想今天小孩子不错。后来突然间一点多又打电话来，总不他一直说你不能走，现在有变化。有什么变化？他们现在有一些。但我听到说，我说没关系，不然就取消，不然就说，嗯、啊啊啊，事后再说。但是就说，因为今天我们一点多已经通知出去了，他就说，我说这样子，不然就我们就接通电话，就说现在啊，你好好的看小孩子，我们这边像社区起码有一个啊，这两三天的发生事情，去啊给大家。一个说说法也知道一下，啊，小孩子的那个一个一一一个状况，咱们也可以。第二方面就是说，我们已经呃对呃已经对外媒体已经公布了，啊，需要他们啊支持，给我们小孩子的一个一个传播，啊，多给他的支持，支持这样子，咱们可以。所以说，今天他姑姑就是他的啊，小孩子姑姑。啊，另外这位是他的表弟，啊，这几个都在一起，我们都在一起，所以说，啊，在经营的东西，要等我们等一下过去医院里面才知道，啊，这这里现在采取的状况，如果现在没有什么疑问，有没有提问的话，我们就说记者会到此结束，有新的东西我们。会向大家一个公布。Help, help, work. Example, your media can do that. Now, I, 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 呃，我啊，知道后来我会发给他，就是我的电话是九二九九九九八八零零，有任何资讯，你可以发信息，可以发信息，他们认识他或者啊，出审或者或者他会以啊啊 ，Facebook 或者方式跟大家一个一个，因为我等一下要拿那个啊呃啊啊网络的那个证明。已经昨天已经做了
。今天的记者会就到此结束，谢谢大家，谢谢。有事情你们会打电话给我，我会都会给大家一一个解呃一一一一个解答。但是一个私人私营的事情安排，我们不需要啊一直纠纠纠呃呃纠纠一直在在，因为很多人会心态相同嘛。你三八一直把它挂出来，人家怎么啊？听懂吗？不是说我们不喜欢把它说到怎么样啊？